should have learned to bloody swim. Can't believe I almost drowned at the last hurdle. <sighs> My powers, they're draining. Just like Mizora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. Hard to believe we have actually prevailed. But it is true. The tadpoles must have died with the brain. <sighs> the threat of ceramorphosis is no more. Of course, no slight intended towards your new form. It's all right. I knew what I was doing. Although credit where it's due. You were a worthy ally up there. If not for you, that brain may have bested us. I did, didn't I? I saved the fucking world. And I think I might live long enough to tell the tale, too. Well, that's a pleasant sight. Here's hoping they stay in their own plane. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Gionthar. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. With the crown in my hands, I would be unstoppable. The casts I weave would be mine to command. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. Want, need, deserve. Choose whatever word you prefer. But it is what I'm going to do. Mistra has dictated the terms of my potential for long enough. The crown would grant me control of my own destiny at last. Think of all I could achieve. All that I could grant to those whose ambitions are restrained by Mistra's yoke. I could raise a new netheril. Right here in Faerun. It seems that we've come to an impasse. I stand on the threshold of divine ascension, and you would try to keep me grounded. It's not your fault. I can hardly expect you to understand. But nor will I relinquish this chance because you're unwilling to imagine a world where I succeed. Ah, I will never forget you. That much I promise. And if one day you feel differently, I will be honored to have you as my chosen. Farewell, Gale. I hope he still remembers us little people once he's secured godhood. Though he may have to contend with Mistra before that's a foregone conclusion. As for us, well... The future awaits. So, what now? I don't know about you, but I could use a flagon or three of ale. <laughs> Very well. Perhaps after a drink or five, I'll be tempted to inflict some of my singing on you all. As if the city has not suffered enough. I will not be joining you. I fear my presence will be no more welcome in the streets of the city than it ever was. Walk safely into the dark. You were truly tentacular. I will miss you, too. Now that you no longer live in each other's minds, it's hard to tell if the mind flare is being sincere 
though perhaps no harder than it ever was. Your thoughts wander from your companions and everything you endured to your own piteous fate. If only you'd defied your father when you had the chance and freed yourself of your dark desires. But it's too late now. Your destiny is set. Your very blood shall clot with the urge. And that hungry desire will consume you. You may have freed the world from the control of the nether brain, but you are not yet free. Your father is angry. What foul punishment awaits you now that you have rejected him? Just like that, it's over. Whatever's left of you is subsumed by the overwhelming strength of your desires. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. To you. <laughs> Many killing moons have waxed. As each set, more your mind waned. You pray with each new heart spillage. You worship with your diseased embrace, siring a mad legion. You scream, for you cannot speak. Yet, in the treacle pulp of your brain, something called you back. Here. What is this place? It was something, once. Bonds, warmth, strength, fear, love. Now you feel only impatience for these blood sacks to sleep, so you can strike with the death dream. Each time you unhinge your maw, the words of the prophet tumble forth. Not long now, not long. Wait until they are at rest to strike. Patience. Mm. 
worse than an animal. It all flows freely now and mingles with the gore. Your body is not yours. The revelry is falling to a lull. Your witching hour draws close. The pity gags in your gullet. Yes, they will die. Yes, just for you. 